Some triad area hospitals are reaching capacity as the number of COVID patients rises. ABC 45's Cassie Sherm has more on how Cone Health is dealing with this added pressure. Well, starting today here at Cone Health, all non-essential surgeries will be postponed as they're seeing an ICU capacity rate at 90%. And one doctor tells me it's concerning because they keep seeing more and more patients going into the hospital every day. COVID is stretching our healthcare system in ways that are even more difficult than what we faced this winter. On July 7th, there was only seven COVID patients at Cone Health. Now there's 140, the same number we saw back in February. Well, this increase has happened very fast and we expect it to continue. Moses Cone Memorial Hospital President Preston Hammock says the number of patients is doubling every two weeks. In the next seven days, they're expecting that number to get over 200 and potentially reach 250, about the same as the peak we saw here in January. COVID is taking up more and more of our resources. The big issue is capacity. Right now, if someone tests positive and needs hospitalizations, there's long wait times. We have significant waits in our emergency departments all across the health system because we have patients waiting for an inpatient bed to open up. That's why they're converting more rooms in the ICU progressive care and post-surgical care units with negative pressure, making more COVID units that look like this one. And when you walk past the red tape, you know you're going in to a COVID area. So we're having to create capacity in order to accommodate COVID-19 positive patients. With how the numbers are going, do you think that hospitals are going to be dealing with this for a while? It's not going to go away anytime soon. It's still going to be with us for quite a few weeks, even in the best of scenarios. Now, out of the 140 patients they have here right now for COVID-19, a little more than 120 of them are unvaccinated and 17 are vaccinated. Reporting here in Greensboro, I'm Cassie Sherm, ABC 45 News. Happening now.